Okay, today's topic is called absolute value, and it is something you learned in grade 11, if you remember it. So those are that flat brackets. That's the absolute value of something. Okay. Um, does everybody understand an f of x is kind of a fancy way of saying a y? Like, each coordinate would be called x comma f of x, or x comma y. It's that's what it means. It's just a fancy way of saying it, basically. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take <coughs> any coordinate, x, y, and if you absolute value it, it becomes x, comma, the absolute value of y. So we're not changing anything to do with x's. We're looking at changing just the y part of the coordinate. Okay, so do you remember what absolute value was? If I drive five kilometers north, okay, I still just drive five kilometers. If I drive negative five kilometers because I'm going south, it's still just five kilometers. So you're taking the magnitude without the direction, basically. So here's the, the big idea. If you absolute a positive value, it just stays. So if I'm saying, what's the absolute value of 8? Eight? 8. If I absolute value 0, it just stays. But if I absolute value a negative number, so think about direction. If I say I went negative 5, I actually just drove 5 kilometers. So it changes to just read a positive number. So there's your big idea. Okay, so here we go. This coordinate, 5, negative 8, is going to become 5, comma, positive 8, because I can't do negative numbers. Negative 6, comma, 10 is going to be negative 6, comma, and then I think, what should I do with 10? Leave it. 3, comma, 0 is going to become 3, comma, and what should I do with the y? Leave it. I now realize that I just wrote that there. Okay, so this was the thing. Positive, stay, negative, change, zero, stay. Right? That's what I just wrote. Okay, so basically I want you to look at this graph. What part of it has positive or zero heights, then it stays? So this section right here is going to stay put. Okay, so if I'm going to graph the absolute value of this graph, that would stay because it's positive or zero. And this section has a negative height. So it's going to change. So for instance, here's this coordinate right here, 0, negative 2. So I'm going to change it to be 0, positive 2. So that's the absolute value of it. So when you have that absolute value, do you notice how my final graph never is below. It's never going to be below. So if you are ever to ask questions with range, you can think about that. Okay, I want you to look at these. There's another transformation, so there's an absolute value going on, but there's also a minus 2 going on. Okay? These minus twos are actually both considered d's. 
Do you see it? Because it's outside the bracket. It's a D. This is a D as well. So there's absolute valuing and moving something down. But these are completely different graphs. Why? It's because of the order. So in this one, it says I should move down two and then absolute it. This one says I should absolute it and then move down two. Can you see the difference in the way it's set up? Move something down and then absolute it, absolute it, and then move it down. Okay, so ready? Here's what we're going to do. I need you to draw this graph shifted down to and draw it lightly because that's not your final graph. So take the graph, what you have. I'm just going to draw mine kind of dashed. Okay, so I have moved it down. That's good. Now I'm going to absolute value this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is say, where is it positive or zero? It stays. So this will stay. So that's part of my final graph. And then this section with negative heights is going to change. So this was zero, negative four. So that's how the final graph looks. Okay, versus this one where it says we should absolute it and then move it down too. So we absolute this graph, which we've actually already done. So absolute it, so now it looks like that. And then take this graph and move it down. So this is absolute and then move it down. And that's your final graph. Okay, look at how different the graphs ended up because we just adjusted the order. Okay, and this one ended up with below because that shift was after, so that, that changes things.